hello guys welcome to my this video and today in this video just i will show you height and so in jquery or javascript we did height and so like so how you can do in react that i'll show you okay and here in react we use the ternary operator for doing this thing and guys here i will hide and show to a component okay so just let me explain the scenario so guys here you can see this is the block component okay which i already created in my previous video if you haven't watched my previous video so i will suggest to watch my previous video first of all okay and guys maybe you are thinking like who is my the old subscriber who just follow my video so maybe you are thinking like i just uploaded uh, react hooks in some days but why i am just uh, showing the ternary operator in the middle of react hook because guys for understanding the next react hook you have to learn the ternary operator okay so that's why i am making this video so guys here now see this is the block component okay and here i exported this uh, this component okay and whatever i did here just i have added the container container is the bootstrap class i i just added the hello so this component i just added in app.js because at the end of the loading we, we can see the preview of app.js okay whatever this flow actually i already discussed so i will not go to more about it so here i just imported block and i just call this block component so now guys here what i will do here i will create a button when i will click this button so i want to hide this block component which i call here and now if i go to the browser so you can see it is hello because guys this block component i have written hello and this one i call here okay so this one i can see in the preview of the browser okay so now i want to hide this component if i hide this component means you cannot see this hello word because the component will be hide okay i hope it is clear so now guys just i will create a button okay but before that i will create a container okay container i hope you know guys this is bootstrap class and it's at some space in left and right okay now guys button see button type is button like this and here just i will light here first of all click so now this is done and now guys if i save so here you can see the button one so when i'll click this button so i want to hide this component means the hello should be height okay i hope guys up to that it is clear if you have any doubt so you can simply write in comment section i will try to solve your doubt okay so now guys here for that just i have to import u state so u state hook i already discussed in my previous video if you want to learn more about it so go to my previous video and check it once so now guys here i'll import u state okay this one if i enter so you can see it's automatically imported if it is not in your application so just manually type this one import u state and form react because it's a default features of react okay so now guys here i have to use the u state so this is my component app okay and which is main one so now here i will write const okay const is a keyword for defining a variable so here i will define the array okay and the array is use state okay which i already imported so now guys here i will set a boolean value that is called true okay means first of all the boolean value will be true and when it is true so that time i will show the block component if it is false once so i will hide the block component so that is the thing i will implement here so how use you state so it takes the two thing in add in this array so first of all is the variable so here i will write the variable that is that is called a so by the way you can write any name of this variable okay and the second thing is for update because we know in react we cannot update dom just manually here react decide how it will update okay so now here i will write set so like this okay so now guys first of all this is variable so so when it is so is the true so that time i want to display this block okay let's see so here i will write the ternary operator because in react for hide and so like we can we can call it toggle in jquery so that time uh, in react we use ternary operator so now you have to understand how we use ternary operator so now you have to understand like how we use the ternary operator 
okay so now first of all curly braces okay so curly braces and now here just i will copy this so variable so when this so variable is true okay so that time that time what i will do so just the question mark so that time i want to display this block component right so i just cut from here and i will paste here so now when it is this so variable will be true so that time i will display block component if it is false so that time i don't do want to display anything means blank so like this this is the use of ternary operator i hope it is clear like when so is the true so question mark and i want to display this block if it is not true means clone this blank either when it is not true here if you want to display anything like suppose height component like this you can do that okay but i don't want to display anything i want to display the blank so i will make it blank right i hope it is it is clear so now let's see once okay so now here you can see hello it's displaying because i have written like when it is true so it will display the blog and inside this blog i have written the hello but when it is false so that time i will make it blank so what i will do just here if i change this for to false so you can easily see here it's hide because i now the so is the false and when it is false so that time it's just entered in this condition okay got it so now i hope it is uh, you have understand this one okay so now guys here uh, now uh, first of all i will make it true and when i will click this button once so that time i want to make it hide so what i will do just here i, I have to write the click method so here i will write on click okay and inside this on click here so uh, first of all i have to call the callback function okay parenthesis and this one and now this set so okay so inside this set, this is for update purpose so inside this set so just here i will write uh, i will write false because by default it is true so i will write here uh, false like this so if i save and here so here you can see first of all it is displaying the hello now if i click so you can see it is hide because when i will click this button so i made it false and once it is false so it will enter this condition and it will be hide this one okay so now guys again what i will do again when i will click this button so that time i want to display this uh, this block component again means the hello word so how can do that so that i will show you also okay so guys now here what i will do just i will remove this false okay now just initially i will not add false here just here i will pass the parameter so that's why here i will just put the another parenthesis inside and parenthesis and i will write the parameter that is preview if you want to add the different name of this parameter so you can do that okay this name you can add as your choice and now guys here same way this fit arrow function and i will write not preview okay so means guys here here what i did just understand like preview preview state you can write the preview set that also will be the will more make sense okay so preview state like this okay so what is that preview state is the parameter name here i already said the parameter name you can pass as your choice so this parameter what is taking so if i hover on this you can see it's taking the boolean value because guys here in the set so here i pass the boolean value true or either I, I can pass true or i will pass false okay so now it is true true is the boolean value so if i hover here you can see it is showing the boolean value so preview state is first of all now true okay so uh, here i will make the preview state when i will click it is false means not true this sign indicate the not okay so it is not true not true means false okay so when it is false mean it will hide again i will click so again the preview state is false okay previous state it's already i made it false so when it is false so now again it is not false means it will be true okay like this way it will work if you uh, if you have any doubt 
here so you can write in simply in comment section i always suggest to write the simply in comment section or either comment section or in instagram id by the way i do, i don't uh, uh just oh i really open the instagram id but i if i open so i try to respond okay so better to write the comment in your doubt okay so again i'm just i'll try to explain it if you have any doubt so again i will try to clear it so preview state is the parameter this parameter first of all it's a boolean value and it is true so when the preview state it's true i i have written it is not true okay means when i'll click this button so i will make this previous is not not previous state uh, preview state means it's a false first of all it is true means it will be false if i write here false okay so when i'll click this button so preview state is first of all false and when i'll click this button so it will be not false not false means true okay i hope it is clear and when suppose now initially true so it is true and not true means it will be false and when a previous state will be false so again uh, i will click so means it is not false means it will be true like this so it will work i hope it is clear i'll i will not just explain it more so i will just save this one first of all okay so save and if you so you can see first of all by default it is showing hello and now if i click once so it is hide and if i click once so it is displaying again okay so i uh, here i hope it is clear so now guys when i will uh, just first of all it will uh, it will be uh, uh, it will be displaying here so that time here i have to write the button name is hide okay once i will click the hide button so that time i have to show so i will change the button name is so this this scenario i will develop here okay so now guys here click instead of click now here just what i will do i will add a ternary operator again so like this curly braces okay and here like so okay so this one same same type of condition i will write here so when so is done true okay so when it is true means the uh, this uh, block component will display so when it will display so the name button name i will write here that is like question mark okay and here i will write the button name is height okay if it is not true okay so that time i will change the button name is so like this so now let's see how it will work or not so here refresh so guys first of all button name is height and it is displaying so if i click this height button so you can see it's just remove and it is showing the so okay like this way it will work so i hope guys it is clear if you have any doubts you can write in comment section and if you find this video is helpful so please subscribe my channel and also press the like button okay and also the notification bell icon